The EV industry is about to change forever. A new sodium battery just came out that charges in seconds and gives a range of over 500 miles. Yes, you heard that right. It charges in seconds. Imagine a world where your electric car charges faster than your phone, a future where the daily hassles of hours plugged into a charger becomes a mere few seconds affair. Sounds too good to be true? Hold on to your seats because the game is about to change. Researchers from the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology have just lifted the curtain on a revolutionary development that might just redefine the future of electric vehicles and beyond. A high-performance hybrid sodium ion battery. Before you think this is just another speculative tech promise, let me walk you through why this isn't just groundbreaking, it's revolutionary. Sodium, unlike its cousin lithium, is about 500 times more abundant and significantly cheaper to source. This isn't just a slight upgrade, it's an entirely new playbook for the battery industry, dominated till now by lithium ion technologies. But why sodium, and why now? For years, the EV and renewable energy sectors have been on a quest to find more suitable, cost-effective battery solutions. Lithium has been the front runner, but it's not without its flaws. It's expensive, less abundant, and carries environmental baggage from its mining processes. Enter sodium that might have been underestimated, but is now ready to take center stage. The innovative leap made by the researchers isn't just in choosing sodium. They've developed a hybrid battery that combines the quick charging capabilities of supercapacitors with the high energy density of traditional batteries. Imagine a battery that charges in the blink of an eye and holds more power than the lithium ion cells powering today's Teslas. Now let's break down this tech marvel a bit more. The new battery architecture developed includes a low crystallinity conductive multivalent ion sulfide embedded anode and a high surface area cathode. These aren't just fancy scientific terms, they are the building blocks of a battery revolution. This combination allows for rapid charging, unprecedented in the battery industry. We're talking about a full charge in just seconds. Yes, you heard that right, seconds. This battery could charge an EV in less time than it takes to fill a gas tank. But the magic doesn't stop at just quick refills. The energy density of these batteries at 247 watt hours per kilogram exceeds that of the best lithium ion batteries out there. What does this mean for you? More power, less charging time, and longer distances on a single charge. For those of you wondering how this sodium battery will be used in cars and what real advantage it has for us, let me share the four big features that were revealed. Think of a battery like a lunchbox. It stores yummy energy instead of food. Traditional lithium-ion batteries, the ones in most electric cars and your smartphone, use lithium to store this energy. Lithium is like a rare, fancy sandwich ingredient that's not only expensive, but also hard to get in large amounts. Enter sodium-ion batteries, where sodium, yes, related to the stuff in your salt shaker, plays the hero. Sodium is way more common and cheaper than lithium. This makes it like using peanut butter instead of artisanal almond butter for your sandwiches way easier to find and less of a hit on your wallet. In these batteries, sodium ions, tiny charged particles, move back and forth between two ends of the battery, the electrodes, similar to how lithium ions move in lithium ion batteries. When you charge the battery, sodium ions store up charge by moving to one end. When you use the battery, they move back to the other end, releasing this stored energy to power your device. But here's where it gets really cool. The new type of sodium ion battery that researchers are working on is like a turbocharged version. They found a way to make these sodium ions move super fast, charging the battery in just seconds. The first obvious advantage of this tech is super fast charging, while the second one is having an incredible range of over 500 miles. Sodium ion batteries pack such a punch that future EVs could easily top these distances on a single charge, making range anxiety a thing of the past. Thirdly, because sodium is so cheap and abundant, much more than lithium, the cost of making these batteries is expected to be much lower. This means that electricity vehicles could become cheaper and more people could afford them. It's like if suddenly the price of smartphones dropped and everyone could get the latest model. More affordable EVs mean more people using clean energy, which is great for the planet. And lastly, these batteries won't catch on fire. We've all seen countless videos of Teslas catching fire, but you won't have to worry about that with sodium anymore. Sodium doesn't react as violently as lithium if something goes wrong, which makes these batteries a safer choice in cars and electronics. 
Plus, they hold up better over time, so you won't have to replace them as often. It's like having a pair of sneakers that you can keep wearing for years, no matter how many puddles you jump in. And then of course, we also have the dark side of current EV batteries that no one tells you about. So lithium comes from places like the Atacama Desert in Chile, or the salt flats of Argentina, and getting it isn't pretty. To get to the lithium, companies have to pump up a ton of water to extract it from the ground. This sucks up a lot of the local water supply, which is a big deal since these places are super dry to begin with. People and animals living there end up with less water for their own needs, which is a major problem. Then there's the pollution side of things. The process to pull lithium out of the ground involves some nasty chemicals that can mess up the nearby water and soil. This means the plants, animals, and even the people living nearby can get sick. It turns what used to be clean natural water sources into toxic streams. The communities living near these lithium mines often get a bad deal. Their environment gets wrecked and they are left dealing with the noise, pollution, and other disruptions that come from mining. They're told that mining will bring jobs and improve their lives, but often they don't see much benefit. Instead, their homes and land are taken over and they have to deal with the mess left behind. Another thing is, these batteries don't last forever. Over time, they can't hold as much charge as they used to, which means they have to be replaced. This leads to a ton of battery waste, which is a headache to deal with because it's not just about throwing them in the bin. They've got to be disposed of in a way that doesn't harm the environment, which can be complicated and expensive. Speaking of disposal, recycling lithium ion batteries is not an easy fix. It's a tough and costly process and doesn't always recover all the materials. This means a lot of what's in the battery could still end up as waste, which defeats the purpose of trying to be green. However, if you're thinking this sounds like a silver bullet for all your energy problems, there's a twist. The technology, while promising, is still years away from commercialization. The path from a laboratory breakthrough to a product in your car is long and fraught with challenges. Scale up, cost, market adoption, and durability are just a few hurdles that need tackling. Yet let's indulge in a bit of future gazing. Imagine a decade from now, we're driving an electric car powered by a sodium ion battery. Charging stations resemble today's gas stations in speed, and electric cars dominate the roads, no longer tethered by the long charging times and high costs associated with lithium ion technology. This could not only accelerate the adoption of EVs, but also drastically reduce the automotive industry's carbon footprint. And it's not just about cars. This technology has the potential to transform how we power everything, from smartphones to grid storage. It means more efficient use of renewable energy, more robust grid systems, and a significant leap towards our sustainable energy goals. Yet we must remain cautiously optimistic. The transition to sodium ion technology represents a monumental shift that involves not just overcoming technological challenges, but also economic and regulatory hurdles. It's a thrilling prospect, but one that requires patience, investment, and innovation. This breakthrough is a clarion call to industries and governments worldwide to invest in the next generation of energy storage technologies. It's a reminder that innovation doesn't just happen. It's driven by necessity and ingenuity, fueled by research and development. Do you think EVs could finally become practical for everyone one day? Or should the government still allow companies to sell gas cars? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I just uploaded another video about some shocking news in the EV industry that could hurt the entire market. So be sure to check out my channel for that.